Hey guys, welcome to part 8 of my walkthrough. If you remember, we just beat the third palace of the light world. And we are now heading off to find the master sword. And that was in a thief's hideout. There is a thief there, avoid them. Free money? Make sure you grab this mushroom, you'll need it later. Just hang on to it for now. That mushroom is sweet. And past all the little woods animals is the Master Sword. And that gibberish says something about it, but whatever. If you have the Book of Medora, you could translate that if you're really interested. But Master Sword in hand, now the Elder Guy can t talk to you through it. Back out the way you came. Oh no, the sanctuary is under attack. Oh yeah, another free mushroom. Score? So the fastest way to the sanctuary is probably out the way you came in. Uh, follow it past where we went to Death Mountain. And we're basically there. Oh, look, another bee! What is that, bee number like 10 already? That was odd. That was nice. Might as well go down here for a free heart piece. And if you run into one of these red trees up here, apples will come out and they will heal you just like hearts. And go in the sanctuary where he is dead. That's what happens when you stand in the way. And then he gets teleported off to somewhere else. Anyway, head off back to Hyrule Castle now. A little shortcut to the south here. See the skull, that's where you need to be. And when you're full life with the Master Sword, you can shoot the little lasers. So try to stay full life, use the lasers to your advantage, and it should make the game a lot easier. It would seem they upped their defenses since last time we were here. Let's throw bombs at them and see if they like it. Yeah! These red guys are stronger than the blue guys and they have a lot of life. Even with the Master Sword, it'll take three, three hits to kill them. So now we need to be upstairs and on the outside of the palace. So once again, terrorize the lobby. And this time we're going to go up these stairs instead. 
And where that big lightning guy was in the way, we can now kill with the Master Sword. In we go. So just pin the guy against the wall and just shoot him with lasers until he's dead. That's, that's the best way to do it. And I never understood why these guys look funny. You get so used to the other guards, and then these guys just look dumb. Any ideas? And a little dark segment here. Can you just drop eight bombs? That guy was packing. Like a little maze here. You can light the torches if you want to see the whole screen at once. I'm going to do this without lighting anything. Make sure you get the key on the west side. And the bats have one eye. One giant eye. Maybe it's because they're so close to the wizard. Maybe that's making everything look funny. Still dark. Uh, careful of the pitfalls here. Just take it nice and easy, or light the torches. Whatever works for you. About three guards in here, I think. And move this block to open the door. Which is to the east. Oh, block, block the lucky shot with my arrow there. Shield. And this block just talks about you can't do physical damage to the wizard. You'll have to turn his own attacks against him. You know an enemy is tough when a pot can't KO them. That was harder to kill than the three palaces I've done thus far. Nice mix of enemies here. Oh, this is devastating. Two archers shooting off sync of each other. And watch out for the holes here. <laughs> that reminds me of going through here the first time. Good times. And the music changes. And... We shall watch the wizard vaporize Zelda. Terminated. And I'm going to end the segment here and save the boss fight for the next part, where we will kill him and visit the Dark World for the first time. Thanks for watching, guys.